Day 8 morning, holy brothers and sisters! For the 13th of Adar in the Kitsu Lukuti Maharan, today's lesson will be called Helpful Hinting, teaching number 54. Vayahi Mikes, it was after two years. Genesis 41 1. A person must guard his memory zealously so that he does not fall into forgetfulness. In other words, so that he will always be mindful of the world to come and never forget it. It goes without saying that all things which include forgetfulness, enumerated in the Talmud, are also detrimental in this respect. This applies even more to those occasions when a person is required to wash his hands, about which our sages said explicitly that one who fails to wash his hands goes out of his mind. Shulchan Aruch or Achaim 418. The explanation is that a person goes out of his mind in the sense that it is impossible for him to understand and to delve with mind in the proper measure without overstepping the bounds of holiness. Thus, it is proper practice for a person first thing in the morning when he awakes from his sleep, right when he opens his eyes and before he does anything, to at once remind himself of the world to come. This constitutes a general remembrance of the world to come. Subsequently, he must extend and apply the same consciousness in all the particulars of his life. This means that he should delve with his mind into every thought, word, and deed, and he must examine and carefully reflect upon all of the circumstances and situations that God arranges for him and brings about for him each and every day, since each day contains its own set of thoughts words, and deeds which are different from every other day. You must know that God contracts his godliness from absolute endless infinity such that it reaches down to the very center of the physical world where a human being stands. There God arranges for each person thoughts, words, and deeds in accordance with the day, the place, and the person. Moreover, within these thoughts, words, and deeds, he conceals hints in order to draw that person closer to his service. Therefore, a person must examine all of these things, and he must delve with his mind and his intellect so as to discern the hints that God is constantly sending him to draw him closer to him whenever and wherever he may be. For in all the various situations, tasks, business transactions, and indeed everything in the world that God arranges for him each and every day, everything contains individualized hints for each person. All this is included in the sage's dictum, each day give him in accordance with his blessings. From Brachas 40a, accordingly a person must delve with his mind and look carefully in order to discern God's hints. Hashem helps by holding us and hinting to us at all times what we need to do. We have to unplug from our busyness to reconnect to the core creator. As always, thank you so much for learning together. If you enjoyed this lesson, please remember to like, comment, share, and borrow. And please God, we'll learn again tomorrow.